What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's M3Croft here and today guys I'm going to show you how can you connect your controller uh, on the PC that you will be able to play Minecraft Java Edition. I was doing a video a while ago uh, with the same subject. So I have here at the moment, I have the PlayStation 4 controller. Um, so you can use or the Nintendo Switch controller if you have one, a generic controller and as well the Xbox controller but I'm going to uh, use the PlayStation 4 controller. I was connecting the PlayStation 5 controller uh, on the PC and on Steam is actually recognized. It can, you can use it, but when I'm trying to play Minecraft, it doesn't work. It might be another way uh, to actually um, be able to use that controller for Minecraft, but I will try to find out. So I have, I'm going to use the MacBook Pro with the M1 um, processor with the, the latest chip. Um, the, the steps that I'm going to show you guys, let me just open uh, Steam. The same, the same process that I'm going to show you, it will be for either MacBook, iMac or Windows. The thing is that I notice because I have as well an iMac with the i processor, with the Intel processor, and I was doing all those steps and unfortunately it was not working. I tried like three times and it was not working. At the beginning when I was doing my first video that you can see on the top, on the top right, um, it was possible, it was possible to actually uh, use the the intel processor but since they were doing the updates because this one here uh, this is the latest so this is the mac os monterey uh, version 12.6 um, and to be honest the other one uh, it was not working In the windows it was working fine but i'm using an amd not intel but to be honest i wouldn't be surprised that using intel where the issue comes from. I'm going to do the step by step, guys. Um, I know that I've done that before, but it's it's good to actually do an update. The first thing that you need to install is Steam. Once you have Steam installed, um, you, and you have as well Minecraft installed on your MacBook or on or your iMac or Windows, uh, go to add a game just over here and add as a non-Steam game, because that is a non-Steam game. Go to Browse and look for Minecraft application. Mine is over here. That it will work with, uh, with the application that is downloaded from Mojang or from Microsoft website. I know that some people use some other applications to play Minecraft. The thing is, I was not testing and um, some of uh, some people actually managed to to have the controller working but a lot of people they didn't manage so this is an application that is downloaded from the uh, official website or from uh, Microsoft uh, uh, store so is already over here Minecraft had the selected programs and it will pop over here so the game is just right here let me just go on the top right, as you can see here, is the big picture mode. Just click it and is going to just going to a full screen. I have now the controller that I'm going to, to connect. So let me just okay. I have here now the, the the cable. So here you just need to connect. Is a way as well to do it wireless but to be honest is more reliable with them um, with the usb i'm just going to connect because i have an adapter here because the ports they are thunderbolt so i need to use an adapter to, for me to connect the usb so and now the controller is connected you can see on the bottom on the bottom right the playstation 4 controller is connected so it means that now i'm able to move as you can see is moving fine um, once because usually automatically detects and it will be uh, able you will be able straight away to move um, those settings well the, the options here on the on the steam store 
uh, on the Steam library community store, I mean. Um, go to the settings on the top, controller settings, and be sure that the one that you are using, in my case, is the PlayStation 4 controller. So just go to the PlayStation 4 controller, click just identify, and it should give you a small vibration. If it does, it means that everything is working fine. So let's go for the next step, go back, and when you go back, you just go to the library. I'm just now using the controller already. As you can see, is I'm just moving all that. And go to games, and let me just here. I'm just wait. That it was something. I don't know what. <laughs> I was moving the control, the the mouse in the same time, and that it was making a weird sound. Okay, Minecraft. You just open Minecraft, you go to Manage Shortcuts and on the to Manage Shortcuts you will have the option Controller Configuration and Control Options. Go to Controller Configuration and here uh, it's already mine, the, my, conf my configs that I was doing um, before. But in your case, because that it will be completely blank, you need to go and browse configs and because I have, as you see, is the personal, go to community, and because you are opening the application, the Minecraft application, um, that it was installed from Mojang or from the Microsoft website, uh, it will automatically pop all this, the configurations for that particular game. I can share my configs on the, on the description. The thing is that uh, before I was sharing as well, and I believe that some people were struggling to actually open, that link and the link being somehow removed by YouTube. I don't know why. Uh, so I can leave as well on the description below, but if you have any questions, you can always leave a comment and I will be more than happy to, to help. But here you can go by the votes. Uh, usually the highest, they are the best, uh, is one here that is from Vance Love 253 that has eight, eight votes. Um, you can always try that one and automatically will um, give the configs. I'm not going to do uh, that right now, um, but you just click and after you just need to save the configs for, for that. But as I said, if you want to use my configs, just let me know um, and if you have any problems with the link below. So once it's done, you can see all the um, uh, the, the keys they are set, like they are attached for individual um, movements and actions. So let me just go back and when all that is done, you just start the shortcut, start the game, automatically will pop, here it is, so it's all the Minecraft launcher and if the controller is working, you can see now on the controller is moving. So I'm just just showing. See, is moving. So it means that is all fine. If you try to move the joystick and nothing happened, it means that it didn't work. So you need to do all again. You need probably just to close uh, Steam and uh, the Minecraft application and do it again because that sometimes it might happen if it's any updates that needs to be done on Steam or when you open the Minecraft is some updates that they are happening in the same time that can happen so don't be uh, scared about that so you just restart all over again once it's done you just start the game so you can see the controller here because I'm trying to show as well the both like a bit of both of the cameras for you to see so you see the app starts. So I'm just going to go on the on the top and single player. And that is a little bit loud. Let me just put a little bit lower. And you see, <clears throat> and it's night time. Is the night time, but is working. So all all the keys, see, the menu, options, and yeah, so 
all is working fine. If you get into this stage, it means that everything is the way you really want. Uh, I know that a lot of people keep saying that with a keyboard is the best, but to be honest, if you are watching this video, it means that uh, you are like me and you prefer to actually play Minecraft using the controller. Because to be honest, I tried so many times, even my friends that they play a lot with the keyboard, they say, man, with the keyboard is the best, but I can't agree. I don't, I don't agree. And to be honest, it's way better. If you've been used to all the time playing um, with a controller, even on the PC or the consoles, you get used to, and um, it's way easier. It's way, way easier. But hey guys, just let me know what you, um, if you have any issues, um, if you enjoy this video guys, thumbs up, that it means a lot to me guys, and if you would like to follow me here, you can always push that red button just below, and if you push the bell, you can be notified all the time when I upload these kind of videos, or when I'm going live. Um, guys, any questions, let me know please. And uh, if you can't use the, the link for my configs, just let me know as well, and we can try all the time to do something different. Um, guys, thank you so much and see you in the next one. Love you all. Peace out.